A sewer pipe burst sending raw sewage into an apartment building, forcing residents out. Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Keith Coons. Health inspectors demanded that the building that is located in Norwich be condemned. As News Agency Tina Detail tells us, the city is stepping in to help the people who are now out of their homes. Inspectors were first called to this property because of complaints about a sinkhole here. Now we're told that one of the tenants actually put down this mattress to protect people from falling in. Now after taking a closer look at this property, it was found that there was a whole host of problems. Temporarily condemned, but even city inspectors don't know when that will be lifted. Bringing this Laurel Hill Avenue house back up to code will not be an easy fix. The tenants were uh, telling us that they were having sewage actually backing up into the apartments. Um, there was actually a sinkhole that was a result of the sewer line break. That break sending raw sewage out from under this eight unit house. 12 adults and two children forced out when the city stepped in. Norwich Human Services, though, is also helping them find other apartments and placing a $26,000 lien on this property to cover relocation costs. But that's just the beginning. It's going to be quite costly. It's going to be uh, time consuming to find somebody to do the work. Uh, there's a lot of ledge in this particular area, so it's very difficult to get in uh, crew to actually do the work. We were unable to get in touch with the owner who took over the property last month. Right now, it is seen as a safety fire and health hazard. Fortunately, with the tenants out, the sewage flow has stopped. You know, we're lucky it's cold right now. Um, there's not a lot of issues with uh, flies and, and vermin. Folks at Human Services say this situation is really nothing new. They see about two homes condemned in the city each month. While we were here, we spotted one just right across the street. In Norwich, Tina Detell, News 8.